You already know what it is. I don't really even need no intro, man. Salute to every single one of y'all out there, the subscribers. That notification gang, salute to my guy Showtime SP, salute to all of the fans and everyone who watches this content or any other content, religiously or in passing, man, you know, we just want to talk about some battle rap shit on a Friday, first and foremost, um, be back with my guy Showtime SP real soon, you know, everything is wonderful, everything is wonderful, so you got Calico and T-Top, right, they uh, battled, Myrtle and Dark Life, you know, that battle went the way it went, you know, and um, they were supposed to bet. I heard, I heard, I heard they were supposed to battle in a one-on-one -on -one battle, and now Smack Volume 6 is coming along, and T-Top just went out there, and he made some statements. I'm going to read them, you know what I'm saying? They right here, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'll just go through all of these tweets between Calico and T-Top, respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Like, both of these guys are pretty dope MCs. We just seen him on one of the last volumes where you seen Calico go against Averb, a battle that I felt that he got. He was wilding in that one. Um, then you had T-Top versus B-Dot, respectfully. I had B-Dot winning that battle, but T-Top did his numbers. Um, both of these guys, very, very talented MCs. Got a lot of respect for them. Uh, you know, when people, when they come outside to battle, people are gonna be watching. It's gonna be box office, you know. But these are some bigger names in the game. So. Um, you had T-Top making a statement saying, Your man's backed out, talking about he need more time. Thought we was vets, homie SMH. You gonna, who gonna step up with two, three weeks prep time? That's what the question was. And then, you know, some people started asking him, who, 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 he said Cal. Calico responds ASAP, ASAP, and says, My question is, why they want to keep paying me last? Why can't I be the first or second battle book so I can prep like people who's already been practicing for this event for three weeks already? I just did that for Verb. It's over. Y'all know about me and Verb. Y'all ain't know about me and Verb till a week before saying that he just took a battle on short notice um, and he's not doing it again. Then he says, especially for a nigga that was not on my radar at all. If it was Geechee, who everybody knows should be battling the wizard, I'd have maybe did it on two, three weeks prep. For T-Top, a nigga who was arguably 30'd on a card I arguably 30'd the island got on. Nah, it don't make no sense. Basically saying that. I just 30 someone, you just got 30. It's different levels. I'm not doing it. New levels, new devils. I'm sorry. I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't facilitate what y'all anticipate. It's not gonna happen. We 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 just we just gonna see not see eye to eye in this one. Um he then goes on to say. Niggas don't understand that I can come up with a whole battle in a day. I just not gonna burst my brain and not get compensated for it. It's harder on me when I have lower prep time, so I should be paid extra for last minute's prep. He said, I don't need more time at all. They couldn't find $5,000 is the real reason, nigga, I will still beat you on 12-12 and start preparing today if they make my account look like what I told them. They saving you, not me, Brody. He basically saying they saving you, they're not saving me as far as me and you battling on um on with this two, three weeks notice. He also said, Nope, I asked for a certain amount of time, 30 days, and when they purposely went past the 30 days and called me for him with three weeks remaining, I took the price up five thousand dollars. It's all business. He said, I'm not gonna let them trick me out of my spot, not gonna let them devalue me, not gonna make me feel like I'm being a diva either. I know what's going on, and I'ma just leave it at that. I ain't going. I will not be there. I ain't going. Don't ask, don't look for me, don't check for me. Don't check for me unless you got checks for me. And he said he's not gonna do it. He said, I got a question for at Top Busy. How can I back out of a battle that I never agreed to do? Then he said, to back out, I would have had to sign contracts, took money, etc. I'm not backing out on you, little bro. It's called negotiation. I'm not for y'all. I'm not y'all. It's not just an automatic yes for me. It got to make sense to me. Got to make sense to me, not an automatic yes for me. You know what I'm saying? He's saying he's not one of the guys who the card just gets presented to them like, look, nigga, you battling two weeks from now. We got Chicken McNuggets and we got a Motel 6 for you. Don't complain. Hey, look, this is a battle that they want to see. You're battling. Um, Calico respectfully has always marched to the beat of his own drum. He's done the things that he's want. He's taking the battles that he wants. You know, he sets his price for a reason. 
His price is what it is, and nobody's going to question that. If Calico don't get what he want, you ain't going to see. Uh, you ain't going to see him. He's going to do what he wants to do, and he'll come back when he wants to when he gets what he wants. He did mention something that was pretty interesting, though. He said if it was Geechee, a battle that people wanted to see or a battle that he wanted, he would have did it. But he said it's a battle versus T-Top is a battle that he's not asking for at all or nobody wanted to see. I'm not going to say nobody wanted to see because I definitely would peep Calico versus T-Top. He also said that he raised the price 5000 for them being late with the, um, with the push. And like I said, all of this is just what they said. You know what I'm saying? It's what, it's what they're saying. I'm just going about it in a way that tries to make it make sense because I know a lot of the subscribers, the followers, the people who rock with this content aren't on social media. Don't have Twitters, don't be on Facebook, don't be on Instagram and stuff like that. There's some people who just, boom, catch a blog, see a subject, oh, let me watch that. Let me talk about that. So, basically, T-Top is saying, in, in a short, that he had Calico lined up in his target. You know, the bear was hunting with a cow. So, Cal wasn't hunting the bear. He was hunting bear, etc., etc. And that he's saying that the battle guy, he backed out. He's saying Calico backed out. But Calico's response is, how the hell do I back out of a battle that I never signed a contract for? Ding! One for Calico. I think he gets a point for that because you can't back out of something that you wasn't contractually obligated to. And what he's saying with that is, if I ask for a certain price for something, you don't give me what I asked for, how am I contractually binded to this? If I don't sign the contract to live in this apartment, you can't ask me to pay you on the first of the month. He's saying that he's not contractually obligated. And he's basically saying that this battle was not even on his radar. Like, he's not even peeping that. And you know, I've seen a lot of battlers talk about battles that are not on their radar, that they don't really care about, and that they wouldn't really be giving much of an effort for. We recently seen that with uh, Goods talking about Math Hoffa. And I'm not really trying to drive off the subject, but it's just like, Goods is like, that battle don't do nothing for him. And you know, Math is gonna have his stance and say the things that he says. I watched him versus Jag, I watched Math versus Clips. I watched all the Math's battles, you know what I'm saying? I like what he does. That's just me personally, but I know a lot of people who feel another way. I seen Math and Cal arguing not too long ago with Matt when Calico was basically saying, I 30 you and I do it again. Um, battle rap, fortunately and unfortunately, does have different levels. You know, that there are levels of MCs who are entertaining, who people want to see. Sue so Surf is an entertaining individual, which is the reason why, regardless if he chokes, regardless if he stumbles, regardless if people say he's not prepared or he won't care about the battle, when he does battle, motherfuckers is gonna watch it. You know what it is, he's a box office individual. Calico, I feel a lot is the same way. When Calico battles, people are going to watch. He brings a good aura, his energy's good. Like, when he was battling against Verb, like, he was just talking so much street realism. A lot of people be saying it's mixtape, but I don't feel that way. But, the, like, when he starts rapping that shit, people gonna respect it. But the same thing to me with T-Top. When T-Top is in his bag and he's really focused and locked in on his opponent, it could be something. And, you know, um, T-Top is, you know, him and Briz is friends. You know, the incident with all that happened at the Summer Impact. That would definitely be another chapter, hopefully, that it would go through. But um, if it does happen, I, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll keep our eyes on it and we'll hope that it does happen. But, man, I tell you, uh, to hear about something two, three weeks, that's too short of a time. For some MCs, not all, for some MCs, two, three weeks is just too soon and MCs, they're not going to do it. They're just like, no, because they're taking a risk and then if they're not prepared, you know, they mess around and get smoked. And then when they get smoked, they know uh, y'all going up on that Summer Jam screen. I don't care if you accept the battle two days before. If you take it, you better be, you better be ready. Because if you lose, they don't want to wear that 50, 100,000 views with somebody snapping on them. And respectfully so, I wouldn't want to do the same either. Especially if um, I'm not prepared. So Calico raised the price five grand. Y'all got it. Y'all got it though. Caffeine got the big bag. They got it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Pay the man. Is that what they say? Pay the man. Uh, if they want, if that battle is something that we want to see. Anyway, y'all jump in the comments and let me know if this battle is even something that y'all want to see. Some people may not even want to see it anywhere. They'd rather see something else. Uh, I'm a, I fuck with what T-Top does, though, and I fuck with what Cal does. So hopefully that uh, if they don't see eye to eye, 
you know, they could get this shit locked in and done. But other than that, you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang was popping with the population. Y'all have a good Friday, you dig? Gang, gang.